jump surf is complicated. You make a lot of mistakes uh, when you jump surf and often you don't know what to do and how to improve your surf. But all you want uh, to have uh, is surf like uh, volleyball stars, hitting powerful surfs, uh, making points and winning a lot of matches. That's why in this video I'll show you a lot of areas and mistakes uh, you can make uh, when you perform a jump surf and I'll give you advice on how to eliminate or prevent uh, these mistakes. What is a good jump surf anyway? I think it's a surf that any of your opponents uh, won't pass to the net. Sometimes you will make an ace out of it and every other surf uh, won't end uh, in an error. That's my very simplistic definition of a quality jump surf. What about you? Would you like to surf a good jump surf? I'm sure you will all answer yes, but right now you are not very good at surfing. Uh, you are wondering what am I doing wrong? Why does my surf often end in a mistake? Why don't I have uh, confidence in my surf? You know what? Uh, don't think about it anymore. Today I'm going to give you a lot of uh, great advice on how to improve your jump surf. Uh, if you watch this uh, entire video, use my advice in your practices or in a matches, uh, your jump surf will improve quickly. I can guarantee you that. Uh, so let's start. Every jump surf starts with a toss of the ball. There are several mistakes uh, we make when we're tossing the ball on a jump surf. One of the mistakes is having a bent arm when we toss. And a bent arm uh, at the elbow when tossing is a factor that uh, negatively affects uh, the quality and stability of our toss. That's why I recommend uh, that you keep your arm extended when tossing the ball. Where the toss is mainly done by the shoulder and the rotation of the ball is done by the wrist. Also, tossing to the side is a mistake that you can see in some players. They toss the ball to their left or right. If you toss the ball to the side, you are already going to have a very difficult time changing the direction of your serve. You are more or less going to be forced uh, to serve in the direction you toss the ball. And I don't uh, recommend that. It's also a common mistake to toss the ball over yourself or just slightly in front of yourself. You are ready for your good jump serve, uh, you are ready to make a classic approach, but you are only tossing the ball a meter in front of you. Then you are forced to jump and serve almost from the spot or only from one step. Again, this is a mistake. The low toss and uh, subsequent uh, catching up of the ball happens to just about every player. If you toss the ball low, most of the time this serve ends in an error. Either a serve into the net or a poorly executed serve. So watch out for the low toss. And on the other hand, a high toss, a toss over 7 meters is also not a good choice unless you are a professional player. Sure, if you look at Leon or Zaitsev, you can see that they toss the ball very high. But the higher you toss the ball, the more elements enter your serve. You have to time your approach and jump perfectly. Hit the ball precisely with your palm. Just a difficult situation to hit this high toss and I don't recommend this kind of high toss. Instead, I advise you to work on your tossing. Uh, practice tossing uh, even without uh, following a jump serve. Stand into your approach position and make a few tosses uh, that should be similar in height. The ball should always fly right in front of you and the impact of the ball should be in the court. To help you, you can perhaps take a ball basket uh, that you can place at this spot. And then try to make sure that the balls fall into the basket or just beside it uh, after your toss. Instead of the basket, you can use uh, also another tool, which should be around one meter in diameter. You will see for yourself that this is not an easy drill and even I didn't hit the basket often. However, it's a great uh, preparatory exercise for practicing uh, tossing for the jump surf. We should always do the same approach to jump surf. But I often see players with uh, short approaches practically serving from one spot. And by doing that, uh, I think they are robbing uh, themselves of uh, some of their dynamic ability and their serve won't be as powerful. Or on the other hand, uh, there are players who are starting uh, from a long distance and their approach contains uh, more than five steps. Here again, there is a risk of a serve error due to too many movements. Uh, you have to throw the ball a lot forward, uh, take many steps. Uh, just timing and connecting well is not easy and I don't recommend this uh, long approach uh, for most of you. Instead, I recommend that you always count the steps uh, for your approach uh, from the end of the court. Then execute your jump serve. By counting the steps, uh, you will always uh, start your approach uh, from the same place and it won't matter if you are playing in your hall or in an unfamiliar environment. Simply always start your approach uh, in the same place. 
make this your routine. Throw the ball on the ground a few times, uh, take a few steps. For example, I take uh, four steps uh, from the end line, turn around and execute your three-step jump serve. I recommend three steps. Uh, this is uh, the same number of steps as a classic approach to the attack. And the more often you repeat this uh, three-step approach, the faster you will improve uh, not only on the jump serve, but also on the attack. Timing the jump serve is not easy. A good stable toss uh, to the same height is essential to make the job of timing the jump easier. However, we make mistakes here as well. The most common mistake is that we jump too early. We misjudge the height of the toss, uh, we underjump uh, the ball and then we are hitting the ball when our body is already falling. And that's uh, where the errors on the serves come from. Most serves end up uh, in the net. The second technical error that affects our jump timing is spreading our hands uh, away from our body after we toss the ball when we start our approach to the jump. This movement is uh, unnecessary. Our hands have to make the movement along a longer path, uh, which means more time. Also, the short last step is a common mistake that many players make uh, and robs themselves of dynamic potential. The last step must not be short. On the contrary, it is the last step that is most important for the timing of the jump and it should be long and dynamic. And the serve itself uh, should always be hit as high as possible, thanks to the last step and the maximum jump, with the arm outstretched and the ball in front of you. Also, help yourself with your hands as much as possible and uh, swing them as far as possible along the body before the jump. And we often find that our jump serves end up in the net. In many cases, this is due to the fact that we put our head down when we serve, that we don't look at the ball until the last moment. Therefore, be careful to keep your eyes on the ball during the jump uh, and the hit. I also advise you to aim your jump serve to the last meter of the court. Tell yourself, I will make a good serve that goes over the net and ends up uh, just before the end of the court. If you repeat these words to yourself before every serve, you will greatly increase uh, your chances of uh, less uh, serve errors to the net. Because serving to the net uh, is, in my opinion, the biggest mistake uh, you can make on the serve. If your serve is long but does not fly into the net, uh, there is still a chance that the receiving player will misjudge it and receive it. A serve into the net is 100% the end of the action and point for the opponent. And if you are on the bench and the coach is uh, sending you to serve, uh, you better aim your serve a meter behind the court. Because you are not as uh, warmed up, uh, you are not in the match. So your muscles and body are not 100% ready for a serve and even if you aim behind the court, yourself will fly into the court in the vast majority of cases. I have experienced this myself uh, many times. Also, errors to the net uh, by the players who are substituted uh, to make serve outweigh uh, serves to the out. It happens to us that our serve ends up uh, out of the court, on the side of the court. We try to serve down the line to a player in zone 5, but our serve ends up uh, a little bit out of the court or possibly even worse. The same thing happens to us when we serve on the other side of the court and we try to serve to a player in zone 1. We make these mistakes because we give ourselves uh, quite a difficult task. We want our serve to go straight in front of us. A deviation of a meter or two already means uh, serve error. And you should prevent these mistakes. A mistake behind the court, half meter behind the court is a small mistake uh, in my eyes. A mistake half meter next to the court is already a bigger mistake. Because here nobody will receive or touch your jump serve. It's a certain mistake and a point for the opponent. That's why I recommend you to serve from the middle of the court if you are starting out with a jump serve or if your serve uh, often ends up uh, outside of the court. Again, perform your ritual and make a few steps for your upcoming jump serve. Then execute your serve. The advantage of serving from the middle of the court is that you have a relatively big angle in front of you where your serve can go. Also, if you don't hit the ball ideally, it may still end up in the court and not next to the court. Wrist work also significantly affects our jump serve. Some players have their hand and wrist like a wooden plank. Their wrist barely bends on the serve and does not work before touching the ball on the jump serve. This is also a mistake in my eyes. Your wrist should not only work on the hitting serve, but it should already be bent backwards when performing approach before the jump. I talk more about wrist work and attack technique in the video above my left shoulder. I also consider slowing the hand motion down just before the hit to be a mistake. This slowing down is also accompanied by a loosening of the hand. 
where we don't hit the ball as high as possible, we, but we bend our arm. This is the source of the classic errors and serving into the net or, on the other hand, uh, serving into the out of the court. Also, due to the slowed down hand, uh, our jump serves is usually very easy for receivers. Therefore, always try to hit the ball on the top uh, with your arm outstretched and don't slow down your arm too much. Among the common mistakes is also rigid body when serving. When we both uh, jump and hit the ball with rigid body, our core and shoulder almost uh, never rotate sideways. Well, if you look at the Leon, for example, he does a great job uh, with his core when he serves. So remember that you should uh, rotate uh, slightly when you serve and work your core as well. That way you will generate added energy and your serves will fly faster. And one of the most common mistakes we make on serve that affects our success rate on serve is bounce point, where we bounce a meter or more behind the court. This is not a mistake that uh, means a direct loss of a point or our poor technique. However, bouncing a meter behind the court and then uh, landing around the line or just in front of the end line is a disadvantage for any serving player. Because when we serve, the players on the other side uh, pass at about 7 meters. With a jump serve, uh, the ball has to fly through the parabola to cross the net. And if we serve behind the net, uh, that flight path and parabola is at least a meter or two longer than if we hit the ball over the court. And with a longer flight path, we give the receiver a better chance to receive our serve. It's about a 10% increase in flight path, 10% increase in reaction time for receivers. And we certainly don't want that. On the contrary, we want our jump serves to be more efficient. We want receivers to have the shortest reaction time and we want to make it very difficult for receivers. Therefore, try to bounce close to the court, ideally within half a meter of the end line, so you hit the ball over the court. I mustn't forget our head. Our head and thinking is behind a lot of errors on serve. Most of the time, these errors stem from nervousness. Or we don't uh, trust ourselves on serve in this situation, or the coach tells you, go for serve, just serve, and don't make an error. You know it yourself, the head has always influenced and will always influence our jump serve. So my advice to you, make your serve a routine, always execute it in the same way, always step away from the court, take a breath, tell yourself that you will make the serve, that it will fly to the last meter of the court, toss the ball well, make an approach, a quick last step, uh, hit the ball as high as you can and watch the ball. If you do this routine, uh, if you get it into your head that all serves are equally important, even the ones in practice, you will greatly increase your chances of uh, making a quality jump serve that will work every time and everywhere. So I firmly believe that uh, describing all these uh, areas and types of mistakes and errors in jump serves and advice on how to deal with them will help you become a better player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.